Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another Topic Tuesday video. It's been a while, but this week's topic is about playing Santa Claus. If I could choose one polish to give to another nail polish addict, what what polish would that be? Because it's just that good. So of course I broke this up into two categories because that's just how I like to do things. And I'm gonna talk about two polishes that you've heard me talk about before. The first one I think is probably expected I think and that is always Avril this is just beautiful beautiful for any occasion I really wish that I could go back in time and just change the color that was on my nails because I wear wore these really ugly chunky acrylics that were just they look hideous and there's a photo of, of our hands my husband my husband's hand I think on top of mine something like that and you can see my ugly acrylics and I cringe I cringe I don't ever want to pull that out it is horrible I wish I can go back and change what I was wearing on my nails to this polish. It's just so pretty. I mean, it looks really delicate. Again, like I said, perfect for any occasion. I think for a wedding, I think this was a great pick to put, uh, for Zoya to put in their bridal collection that, that they released earlier this year. I get this one opaque in two coats, I think. I think it was originally a three-coater for me, but I've used this often enough that it has thickened. And that's just the way that Zoya's work, right? Through time, they just thicken and there's nothing wrong with that because usually it just it just gets better and better with time. So uh, there was no way that I could do this video without including Zoya's Avril. If I were to give somebody an indie polish, you guys know what's gonna come from Noodles and Nail Polish. I can't help myself, I just love the brand so much. But the polish in particular that I would choose is Under the Sea. I looked at many swatches before I ordered this one, but I gotta say, no matter what photos you look at or maybe videos that you see of this, you really have to experience it yourself to understand just the beauty that this is, the depth that it has. It has a jelly base, it's filled with small hollow glitter and there's these large chunky flakies in there. The combination of all of these elements works together so well it's like they were made for each other and when i wore this for the first time i could not stop staring at my nails i i was in awe this is a beautiful polish i feel like it's an underrated polish nobody really talks about it i know that maureen does from glamour and nail but i feel like uh, outside of her nobody really talks about this one but this has got to be the most beautiful intricate polish coming from noodles that I've tried personally. I get this one opaque in two coats. Uh, you do need to let it dry thoroughly on that first coat because there are chunky flakies in here. Other than that, there's really not, not much that you need to do. You don't need to change anything, uh, just opaque in two coats. So I would love to hear from you guys. What polish would you gift to another nail polish addict? What do you think is a must have in one's collection? This is a really interesting topic and I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know what mainstream and indie, if you have one for each or maybe just one mainstream if you don't have an indie. I would love to hear your guys' answers and I will see you in my next one, bye.